still checking in the place, still cold. Moving in the way, no place, no snow. Straight chilling with my nigga. YouTube, what's up? Venom Grower here. I got some more cob parts this week, so for the Canopy 10 build, the Citizen Canopy 10 build. Uh, I got some of the, some more of the 105 millimeter pen heat sinks from CobKits.com. That's where I got all these parts, CobKits.com. Show you guys these first, I guess. Bear with me here a little bit. Here's some more. These right here are the reflector adapters for the Citizen. Just a plastic piece that screws on. Pull this box out of the way here so we can set some of this stuff out. Here's these holders. Next are the Citizen CLU 048 1212s. And these are the 3500K 90 CRI. This is how they come here. There was six in this tray, but I started working on these like on Tuesday to assemble them which maybe this worked out better. I can show you guys a little bit more of it, you know. But yeah, these are the Citizen 1212s, the CLU 048s. Yeah, you can order all these at cobkits.com. He's a, a pretty good place. If you have any questions, he's really handy too. He'll really help you out with everything you need help out with. Here is some more. These are the ideal chip blocks for the Citizen. Like I showed you with the other Citizen cobs that I put together. I have them in the other box. I'll pull them out and show you guys. you already seen them, some of you, but for the rest that haven't, I'll show you. But if you look at this chip block, they have uh, little inserts or you answer the wire solid gauge wire I'm gonna use 18 gauge uh, solid copper wire when I symbol this but yeah these are the holders I had six of these also because I'm gonna be doing six of the CLU 048 1212s 3500k 90 CRI and then there will be four of the 1812 CLU 048 3500K 90CRIs. Here is one of the 100. Well, I'll show you guys one of the other ones first. This is one of the 105 millimeter pin heat sinks you can get. These right here from cobkits.com, they are pre drilled for the cobs. Basing for these all Citizen CLU 048s, they'll all fit with the ideal holder right on here. So yeah, they're pre-drilled and tapped, so you they're pretty simple for assembly. Like I said, I started on these things, and I did a couple of them. Here's one of them I assembled. Let's get a good view of these things. Yeah, these are uh, these 1212s. I'm going to run about 37 watts a piece. So I'll have six of them at 37 watts. And then the 1812s will run at about 55 to 57 watts a piece, I think. There's those. Here's another one I assembled. I just really get a good look at that. But yeah, it's pretty good. Another holder there. I have these alcohol pads that I use. When you assemble these things, you want to make sure that you tear one of these off, open it up, 
and just go ahead and clean the whole top surface of this with the alcohol pad to get any dirt, oil, residue, or all that off of it. But yeah, there's like I said, I was assembling these things on Tuesday, but uh, they came with the, the thermal pads I ordered. And I'll show you the, these things. I've ordered them before for the 1812s, and they peeled right off. And, <coughs> well, I can't find a pad right now, but the little square thermal pads. And uh, the sheeting wouldn't peel off of them. Just kept trying to tear holes in them, so... I had to order uh, the Arctic. I ordered Arctic, Arctic thermal paste. Excuse me, Arctic thermal paste, and it'll be here tomorrow. So I'm gonna do some more assembly on the the rest of these. I have four left to assemble, but as you guys can see, they're all pre-drilled and tapped. Oh, they also have uh, side mounting holes for your frame, or however you want to mount them. And then up here, there's more mounting holes that you can use. So yeah, here's the six of these. And then, you guys have seen these before. These are my other ones. Oh, I also ordered my extruded aluminum. Uh, I got four 96 inch pieces coming for uh, my frame. And a bunch of other odd and ends, component boxes and uh, dimmers analog dimmers I'm going to do two dimmers so I could dim the inside and the outside separately here's these babies these are the 120 millimeter pin heat sinks I got these from northerngrowlights.com and these run up from like I think it's like 50 watts to 65 watts passive these here uh, they're 25 to 35 or 20 to 30 20 to 35 watts passive I believe I mean, they, you still could put a fan on them and cool them these cobs you can run up to like a hundred watts each I mean you can really drive them hard but for efficiency I don't want to drive them that hard so yeah I'll set this one up there here's another one And another one. And my last 1812 3500K90CRI. Like I said, these bigger ones, I'm going to run a little bit. They'll run uh, a little bit bigger chip. You really can't notice the difference, though. I mean, if you really get to looking, I mean, the heat sinks, sure. I mean,. This one's like four inches, and this one's four and three quarters inches, but not a lot of difference in the chip sizes, really. Okay. That's all of the cobs there. Uh, you guys can see. Uh, zoom in a little too far there. We'll get a good look at everything here. yeah there's those and here's the power for the babies Move this box over here these are the mean wells these are the mean well drivers I have two of these that are gonna drive them these are the HLG 240H C 1050B's and they're each, uh, they each can run up to like 249.9 watts, I believe. I think my fixture will run between 450 and 500 watts off these two drivers. I'm going to run my uh, cobs when I wire them in, in series. But they, as you see, they have the... This here will connect to your series of cobs. This end here, this of course is your wall plug. This other wire here is for the dimmer. This is going to be for uh, remote dimming so I can dim each driver. There's that one. 
And then we'll pull out the second one. Here's the second one. So yeah, these are gonna power the powerhouse of the whole fixture. So yeah, like they'll all have to be uh, soldered and wired in and all that, but it's gonna be fun fun. I, uh, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and wire, uh, or not wire, but I mean start assembling these cobs. The other four tomorrow when I get that thermal paste, I was hoping for the thermal pads because they're a little more simple to use. Uh, but the thermal paste, I'll use it, and I guess uh, trial and error with that. We'll just see how it goes. It's uh, going to be a new journey there for me with the thermal pads. So, Or not the thermal pads, the Arctic uh, thermal paste. ordered it off Amazon. It's like only $7. For like a, I think it's like a four ounce too. Maybe it's one ounce. It's, it's either one or four ounce. I can't remember. Sorry. But yeah, it's like six bucks, seven bucks for a tube of it, and you can do a bunch of cobs with it. I'm gonna build another cob panel, but I got to get this one complete first. And this weekend I'm going over to the Home Depot and getting my Artec panels and my autos. Uh, pretty much. Uh, coming up to finish now they're I checked the trikes this morning and they're got a little bit of amber oh they're they're all pretty much cloudy I mean they could come down today if I wanted to but I had debated on watering today or not I may water and then wait a couple days you know they're dried out today I could definitely harvest but I just don't know if I'm going to do it today or maybe this weekend but yeah they're ready to be harvested but yeah well uh start getting that room and this fixture and the frame and all that going I'll try to update you guys with a little bit more what's going on uh, if you guys have any questions drop them in the comments below I mean I try to answer them the best I can oh and the canopy 10 build uh, I got the idea from grow mount grow, grow mouse sorry from grow mouse on his channel he has an open source uh, canopy 10 build you can use the Cree. I decided to use Citizen. And uh, Citizen's pretty good. I really did my research on these and the Cree. And the Citizen really kicks some butt too. So we'll see how that does. But yeah, these fixtures here, we'll uh, definitely see how it does. But these are cobs for anybody that's kind of wondering you know you can build your own cob fixture for probably about half of what you can uh, buy a, a fixture for you you can buy cob panels if you guys don't want to DIY them you know they're uh, a little more spendy though uh, you can source all your parts, like I said, at northerngrowlights.com and cobkits.com. And they're super helpful. They'll help you with all you need, you know. And they come in these little chips, like I showed you before. And apply the thermal paste and then put these inside here. Like I've shown you before, I don't know if you guys can see this. But they have a, a positive and a negative mark down here. And if you flip these over, you can see the positive mark there. Flip this over, put it down in here, like so. You have to work with it a little bit, but then if you get your in here just like this. Here it snap in there. Make sure it's all seated up. And then I'd clean this with like an alcohol pad. You probably don't have to. You can clean it with a cloth, but that's what I would do. But that's what I do anyways. You flip it over. See that? It stays in there good. And then uh, once the thermal paste, I'll probably put it in here and then apply the thermal paste. And then I'll line this up. And it'll screw right down to that. And once that's on, you take this and you screw it on. And then you have a completed cob, minus the wiring side of it. 
I mean, once you have all these in, these chip locks are are amazing. I mean, it's solderless, is what it is. It's a solderless uh, system for these cobs. It's they're by, made by Ideal. You just have to make sure that you order the right ones because they have ones for Citizen, ones for ID, uh, the Cree. Uh, I'm not familiar with the Vero stuff very much by Bridge Lux, you know. I, I don't know much about it, but I've really kind of looked into the Cree and the the Citizen a lot. But yeah, that's what it looks like, guys. Pretty cool. But yeah, just plug your wires in and uh, one will go on the positive side, one will go out the negative side. The next one will go into the positive, negative, positive, negative, all the way around. Brownie Cubs are running. And then boom, into the correct lead wire here. But yeah, that's the way that works. I forgot to tell you guys, these are 36 volt chips right here. 36 volts. It's a forward voltage on them. Um, if you guys have any questions, you can like download the. It's called the City Calculator. It's a CitizenElectronics.com, and you can put in an input your driver. You can input your volt. Four voltage on your cob. It'll give you luminous flux. It'll give you uh, lumens per watt. You know, you can figure out all that on that site. It'll be a generally. It won't work on a cell phone. I don't believe it. Desktop mainly. But yeah, it's super handy. Um. Oh yeah. The twelve twelve Citizen CLU 048s are thirty six volt. And when you order, if you order these, the CLU zero. 48 the 1812s these are 52 volts the forward voltage on these so yeah there's a difference i do know that if you're running you have to run a certain series of cobs you want to run that series on one driver so six of these will run on one of these drivers right here and then four of these will run on the other hlg so that's important but yeah that's uh I was trying to think what else I could tell you guys, but yeah, Girl Man has Girl Mouse. It's like pronounced Girl Ma Five though, but Girl Mouse, he has some really good videos on how to fit uh, your cobs and how many you can put on a driver and all that. And he has some great videos, so you guys should definitely go check him out. Uh, hey, it's where I learned all I know and through a lot of research. So, because he does the Cree, I do the Citizen. So I've learned quite a bit about the Citizen. Well, guys, this video is getting kind of long, so I guess uh, I will wrap it up for now. I can't think of much else. If you have any questions, drop them below, like I said before. Uh, if you guys like the videos, like it, please, and uh, hey, subscribe. All right, guys, peace, and stay lifted.